Mm, wow. Okay. Good to know. Mm. Two more peptides. I know we're covering a lot of ground, <laughs> but um, yeah. So the the apatalon, and of course, is a lot of mm -hmm. people's favorite as well, right? Mm -hmm. It's been that's a bioregulator, a very powerful um, mm -hmm. molecule. And uh, and then there's another one, pinealon. So both are pineal mm -hmm. peptides. So can you talk a little bit about the difference and would you use both? And like, you know, what are your thoughts? Yeah. So I would say that I'm not an expert on the, the, um, the pineal. Um, okay. And so I can speak a lot to the epitalon. I, I think that uh, I tend to be a bigger skeptic of those bioregulators than most. Um, and uh, the reason being is that um, in Russia, they're done a little bit more as a multi-level marketing um, type of application. And none of the sequences of the actual products are released. Um, so it's not really, I would say, as scientific as some of these other approaches are, where we know exactly what the amino acid sequence are, we know exactly what the receptors are, which is targeting. And so for some of those bioregulators, I tend to be more skeptical. Um, but the epitalon is one that I think has a lot of great data, and I am a big fan of. Um, you know, I, I think that there are some studies on epitalon I don't particularly uh, think are, are the best. Um, one in particular being the one that it, it is widely noted, which is that it increases telomerase and telomere length. Um, in, in one study, it increased uh, lung fibroblast telomere length by 33%. Um, and, uh, and so I think a lot of people early on started doing it as a way to, to improve telomere length. Um, but unfortunately, I can say that I've tested now uh, quite a bit of tel tel telomere lengths uh, with, with epitalon. I don't see that big of a correlation. Um, I, I actually don't see it having much of an impact, but I think I am a huge fan of it for all the other effects that it has. Um, even those 15 year follow up studies where we're seeing, you know, some some really drastic improvements in in uh, in in lifespan and in reducing cardiovascular disease. Um, I think that there is uh, certainly some benefit, um, although I think that mechanism of action is still a little bit uh, uh, unelucidated. I see. So. You're collecting a lot of data with the, the true age testing. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen any peptides that's making a dent on biological age? So we're doing a study right now, a controlled study on the epitalon. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of uh, our data on the peptides is, is, is not very strong um, because most of the time people are doing one peptide, they're usually doing several. Um, and, and so it's always hard to, to pull around which one is having the biggest impact. Um, and so, uh, so we're actually going to start doing that um, right now. I'll study on epitalon to look at some of the biological age impacts and the methylation effects.